Hey everyone, Tyson the Super Special from Super Prince George here. Today we're taking a look at the 2024 Subaru Outback Premier. And this is in that dark mahogany. So it looks kind of black in the shade on camera, but in person it really looks dark purple there. In the sun, it's absolutely vibrant red. I say it looks like a kind of a soda red. We'll see here in a second. If you have the chance to check it out in person, I do recommend it. There's tons of metallic. It's a great looking color. Very, very bright, very unique color. And it suits the Outback perfectly. So Premier XT is the full load. Comes with the 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine. That's the only engine option available. You get the same front end as the 2023s. On the Premier, you do get the front view parking slash off-road camera. You get the new forward-facing LED fog lights. That's on all of them. They used to have little vertical LED strips here, but because they've gone to this kind of C-channel cutout for more aggressive look, they've moved them forward. Smaller, more aggressively styled headlights. They're, of course, LED and steering responsive, so they do swivel when you turn corners at speed. Now, how can I tell it's a Premier visually? We've got these satin chrome mirror caps and then these satin chrome roof rail tie downs. The roof rails themselves are also satin chrome. And of course you have the built-in crossbars on all of the Outbacks with the exception of the Wilderness. They just flip across, the other side flips across here, locks in. These are much smoother in comparison to the standard ones. Not that that's a plus or a minus. You can also tell because you have chrome strips on the handles and you can really see that metallic in the paint. Yeah. 8.7 inches of minimum ground clearance and of course Subaru's full-time symmetrical all-wheel drive. At the back, yeah, you can really see that metallic and that kind of red. Very rich color. Now, in the rear of the bumper, we have those little black circles. Those are your backup sensors and they'll apply the brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. Terrifying when it works, but practical. Stops you from hitting something once, it's worth it. We do have a proximity tailgate. So long as the key's on your person, you block the logo, it beeps, you remove your hand or the box that you're holding, and up it goes. You can also activate the door from the door or you can do it from, of course, the key fob. Lots of room in the rear of the Outback, very deep storage, comparable in width to the Forester, not quite as much height, but you've got more depth. So I think there's more practical room in here, but you can fit more in a Forester with the second row folded flat and you're stacking things to the roof. Privacy cover, two stage, hides everything from the top of the seats down, or if you have taller items, you can see it just goes from regular and retracts and you can fit taller items underneath it. Cargo tray is standard, has the little lip, hopefully contain anything that spills. We have a 12 volt outlet. We have tie downs and you get eight hard mount tie downs in the Premier. You get four on each side. We have grocery bag hooks. And if you need to fold the seats down, we just simply pull the handle. And of course it depends how far that front seat is reclined because that's not down all the way. Let's see how this one is. There you go, that's how it all looks. And underneath this cargo tray, to open this, push down, lift up on the chrome, and we have, and this isn't gonna work because I have this in the second position, something that uh, you should note. If you ever need to change the tire, we have this handy little hook. And you just hook it on there. And you have easy access to your jack, your spare tire tools, the eye bolt for recovery, and underneath here, you get your temporary spare tire. You can actually tuck that privacy cover underneath here. These just pop up and you can kind of see the outline there. And these just have little clips and you push them back down. Now, this is the hard part, especially while holding a camera. And you just put it down. There we go, simple as. We do also get the Harman Kardon audio system. This is the sub for it in the back, little eight inch sub. Great sound system. There is also an LED cargo light. And now to close it, I can do it from the key fob, I can do it from the driver's seat, I can put my hand in, pull down, I can press and close where I can close and lock. So let's do that. So you press it for a second, it's gonna close, it's gonna make an audible and it's going to flash. 
indicating that the lights, or by the lights, saying it's locked. So, the other way we can tell it's locked. The mirrors are folded. So they have power folding mirrors on the Premier when you lock it. And to confirm that it's gonna unlock, put my hand in, and it opens. Simple. So second row, when the seats are folded or not folded, you have quite a bit of room. You've got lots of headroom. You've got good leg room. Of course, depends when you're going to be uh, or how far you're going to have that driver's seat. And in this Premier, we have the dark gray or charcoal or black leather interior. You can get the brown interior in some of the exterior colors. You have a fold down armrest with two cup holders and you'll notice it is perforated leather and in the Premier it is the Napa leather. So name brand Napa leather. Very a little bit softer, a little bit more comfortable than the standard leather. It's been my experience. We have heated seats high and low for the outer two passengers. Person in the middle also doesn't get a heated seat. USB C and A sockets for all your charging needs. We have vents out of the center console in addition to behind uh, underneath both front seats to cool down the second row more effectively. We have three pockets on the rear of both the front passenger and front driver's seat. So there's lots of storage options. These seats do recline. So this one is reclined, those are not. And we have this right here. Just simply pull and you can see it went back up. Now I can fold these from the second row. You don't have to go to the rear to do that. This is grippy and is designed to be stood on. So if you're loading something that you have on the crossbars up top in a skybox or something like that, a Thule ski rack, that's a much better place to stand than on the tire itself because the tire is actually inside of the wheel well. You get a much better purchase of grip right there. You get bottle holder with storage, soft touch, soft touch, passengers are comfortable in the back, access to your auto power window, child lock if you need it. Now to lock this with the proximity key, so long as this key is on your person within 46 inches, all you have to do to lock it, we've got these little handles or little lines on the handle and that is on both the front driver and passenger. You just simply touch the lines, they fold in, locks, gives me about half a second to confirm it's locked. I just unlocked it because I waited too long, but you lock it. And then to unlock it again, so long as the key's within 46 inches, just put your hand in and it unlocks. Super, super easy. Soft touch, soft touch. Door card looks pretty much the same, other than obviously we have window lock, power windows. We can fold the mirrors just off the switch. So if you're parked on a narrow street waiting for a passenger to come out, someone you're picking up, you just press that, folds your mirrors in on both sides. Two position memory settings for your driver's seat and your mirror position. And of course, Harman Kardon audio system. Absolutely phenomenal audio system. You get a power seat, of course, with lumbar support, and it is Napa leather, the dark Napa leather. The only thing the memory settings do not remember is your lumbar support level, because that varies depending how long you're in the car. And then you have a manual thigh extender. So there's a little handle right here, just lift and push. So if you have longer legs, this is great. You don't lose circulation to your legs on longer trips, which of course that's benefit, that you don't want to lose that while you're driving. By the driver's left knee, we have the ability to open the rear hatch, scroll wheel for the brightness of the gauges, and we can turn off the sensor for the proximity tailgate if you don't want it, or you're loading something on the roof and you keep accidentally opening it. I've done that before. Steering wheel itself, different leather. So this is, I'd almost say it's velvety. That uh, That's kind of the feeling I get from it. Push button start, foot on the brake. We got those little LEDs up there blind spot detection on both your side mirrors. I don't know if you saw that, so I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on. So blind spot detection indicates when someone's in your blind spot on the corresponding side. It does not give you an audible chime, it just blinks, just lets you know. Once you know it's there, it's really easy to notice it. The LEDs up there are indicative of different portions of the eyesight system, so lane sway, automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise, etc. Steering wheel itself is the new steering wheel from the 2023s. Left hand side, we have our audio controls, our Bluetooth controls, our voice controls. We can switch from AM to FM to CD to satellite, etc. Yes, we have a CD player in here. See it right there. <laughs> this toggle changes 
our little display up here. It gives you different pieces of information depending on what you want to look at. We have our adaptive cruise, which gives you one to four bars of follow distance. Four bars at the max at 100 kilometers an hour is approximately 150 to 180 feet behind the vehicle ahead of you, which is plenty. You can follow closer if you want, and you can decrease your follow distance by pressing the arrows. That increases, that decreases. Lane centering. Get the little image of the steering wheel there. And above 60 kilometers an hour, if the, if the three eyesight cameras can see the road lines, they'll illuminate, and I gotta turn on all the functions there, they'll illuminate these gray lines white, and it'll actually give you gentle steering input to keep you in the center of your lane. Great for the second half of a long day of driving. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great feature. I didn't think I would like it. It's hugely beneficial. Heated steering wheel, and it is the whole wheel, except for right here, there's a little dead spot right there. That's where the heating element comes out. Absolutely amazing for the winters, or if you just have poor circulation in your hands. We do have paddles, upshift, downshift, so you can manually select your own gears with the automatic CVT. Over here, we have our driver focus system, and that will tell you if you're paying attention to the road, if you're drowsy, it will also do your memory position settings. So you can scan your face in up to five different drivers, and you can see the little red light there, that's scanning my face, and it might pop up and say, hey, do you wanna register because you're not in? I'm not going to. We've already registered the new owner, so we'll... We don't need to add me, or who's going to be the new owner. 11.6 inch touchscreen. Top portion, we've got what we're listening to, which is nothing. Navigation destination, gauges. And I can change these gauges around. Widgets is what they call them in the settings. You just click and choose what you wanna put. And there you go. It's the 28th, gives you oil temp, water temp. You get weather. That's part of the three month trial of the satellite radio you get with most new Subarus. And we get access to X mode. So it's like four x four low in a pickup, not as aggressive, but it takes a very capable Subaru and makes it more capable. If you have the chance to test it out, I do recommend it. So we will do this back to there. Middle portion, kind of our home screen. You get there by pressing the little Monopoly house or the envelope as a customer called it. We've got navigation powered by TomTom. Tom. You don't have, you can go full screen, you can go part screen. It's really easy. And I'm not gonna pull up the search function because it's it's already saved several addresses that I was showing my customer how to use, but really easy to use, no subscription. You just get to use it It's with, for the life of the vehicle. Access to radio, media, that'll be Bluetooth. Under apps, you have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Access to the My Subaru app after the vehicle's registered in your name. You get emails to set that up. We can disable the start stop. You can add more phones. You can set driver profiles. When you go in the vehicle, you can turn on auto start stop. You can turn off a bunch of things, change your driving assistance, and then you can change warning volumes and the units. If you go to the States, you can change it to miles per hour, miles per gallon, etc. Below that, climate control. So this is the updated climate controls from the 23s. Significant improvement versus the previous ones. We still have physical buttons on either side for climate, for temperature, because it is dual zone. It's hot out, so of course it's on cold right now, but if I wanted to warm up the passenger side, I can do that. I can change where I want the airflow, if I want recirc, if I want max AC, but we're obviously gonna sync that back. Big button for fan strength, which is great. Hard to miss touch that. And in the Premier, this is exclusive to the Premier, ventilated and heated seats, three stages of each for the driver and the passenger. So heated seats only in the rear outer two seats, heated and ventilated up front. So this is not air conditioned, but you can actually hear, here, we're gonna turn that off. You can still hear the fans in the seats going. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there is fans going. And I'm gonna turn that back on. So it's sucking air from the cabin in through the seat and it's pulling air away from you as it does that. So you don't end up with that wet clothing feeling that I feel you get with air conditioned seats. It's not as cold, but you don't end up with that other downside. Below that, we have USB-A and C sockets for charging, aux port for listening to music, wireless charger. That will go blue when a device is here and it's charging. White just means it's ready to accept a device. Parking brake, pull up to turn on. Still got the red B for park up there. And in, in, in order to shut it off, my foot is not on the brake and I'm gonna push down. Depress the brake. And it goes off. So automatic CVT. Manual mode, where you can manually select your own gauges, or gears, sorry, not gauges. 
easy to use. I used it for downshifting in my cross strike all the time. Cup holders, and you get one drink razor to increase the or decrease the depth of it to hold smaller drinks without having to just reach down and grab the lid and hope that the cup stays attached. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Now, this is my favorite feature in any vehicle. Your side mirrors are also auto dimming in the Premier. Now, normally I say, hey, there's no switch, but there is a switch in this one. What this one does is turns on a camera and you can actually see it's a completely different view. So there's a camera and I'll show you where the camera is because it's kind of hidden. It's not like the Ascent, which is kind of cool. We do also have the home link button. You can hook up to three separate garage doors to your mirror. Very, very handy. You don't have to carry an opener on your visor. We have our sunglass storage. We have our SOS and our roadside. That's part of the three-year trial to the connected services you get with most new Subarus. We've got our sunroof control, tilt and slide, LED map lights. We have card holders, vanity mirrors with lights. And then we have a slider. So I'm gonna show you under the hood, in addition to where that little camera is for the rear. So down here, little icon, hood. I'm just gonna turn this off because it doesn't need to be on. It is rather quiet, but I'll start with the camera. So the camera, it's right here on the back of the shark fin antenna. It's right there. That is a hard, and <laughs> I opened it up because I was close to it, to the sensor. That's why you may want to turn the sensor off. But yeah, that right there is the camera. So you don't get a whole bunch of snow buildup, especially when you're moving, which is very cool. That camera's handy if you have a car load of people or cargo. Now underneath the hood, to get there, right hand side of the Subaru logo, go in, hand facing down, right to left, and lift. And that's just the lever right there that we move. You get your power steering, or your, your brake fluid, sorry, not power steering. You get your washer fluid, you get your oil, you get your coolant, and you get your dipstick. All easily accessible stuff. Yellow is what the average consumer is gonna touch. You have your top mount intercooler, you've got your easy access to your air filter and of course the oil filter is up top like most new Subarus so yeah this puts out 260 horsepower and 277 pounds feet of torque these are absolute rockets they're amazing now to close this I like to drop it I don't like to put my hand down and push I feel like I'm going to dent it even if that's not the case I just feel more comfortable with that and vehicle ownership should be about being comfortable is a quick look at the 2024 Subaru Outback Premier XT in the dark mahogany pearl. I love the color. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the color. If you've had a chance to check it out in person, it's way better than checking it out on the video. The camera doesn't do it justice. If you guys have any questions about this Subaru, any of the tech in it, or any of the tech in our lineup, any of the vehicles, put them in the comments below. I'm always looking to answer your guys' questions and making new videos if there's something you wanna see in the future. If you're in British Columbia and you're looking for a Subaru, please reach out. I would love to help you. We have a lot of shorter wait times than a lot of the larger dealers where you're dealing with thousands and thousands of people. We're a smaller dealer, but we get a decent supply. Again, I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.